Hi, this is Ron Mitchell, we're playing the Hunter on PC, and today we're looking at the brand new 50 cal inline muzzle loading pistol. Here is a beast of a handgun that will assist any hunter on their big game hunting adventures. The gun features a 14 inch stainless steel fluted barrel with a black polymer checkered grip. It's a great mix of both fancy and effective handgun hunting. This muzzle loading pistol can be placed in the handgun slot and is loaded with a 50 cal lead bullet for big game hunting. You can place three sights on this muzzle loading pistol 2x4x20mm one, 2x6x20mm one, and another 2x6x20mm. The ammo it takes is 50 cal lead bullet. The permitted species for this gun are Banteng, Bison, Black Bear, Brown Bear, Feral Hog, Grizzly Bear, Moose, Polar Bear, Red Deer, Rocky Mountain Elk, Roosevelt Elk, Samba Deer, Water Buffalo and Wild Boar. Sometimes they change this after the gun's released but up to date as of now that is the permitted species list. Put the scope on it looks quite good. We're going to go test it out in a minute on this range, that's why I'm on white hot. I'm going to take the scope off, we'll have a look at the reload animation first. Uh, we're going to see at the target how easy it is to hit up to 50 meters. Right here's the reload animation. As you can see it's quite a complex set of animations and it works really well. It looks good a bit of juggling about as well so it's not an easy thing quite complicated for such a small pistol that's what it sounds like and we're just going to show you this again just so we can catch it properly so there's quite a lot of work gone into this sometimes people don't realize but I do like that One more time, do it in normal view, and then we're going to test it on the range. What we really need to know is how easy it is to use this pistol. Right. I have been looking online today uh, to see what the real life counterparts to this are, and if it does actually exist. And I was quite surprised to see there's quite a few of them, and I found one that was very similar to this gun. Um, and what they might have based it on and it does look very accurate to the real life version also found an old trapper style one uh, which could be maybe added as well looks totally different to this right here's the range I've removed the scope we're going to try it iron sighted that way you can see how it performs how easy it is to use the first target is about 15 meters so it's nothing distance wise but you can see it's pretty easy to use the targets I'm going to go up to here will be about 50 meters which I think will be the average effective range you're going to use this at. You probably can shoot it further but realistically you're going to be killing stuff 50 meters and under with it. Let's try the second target now which is about 35 meters. A bit tricky to hit I think with this iron sighted. Let's get the range finder and check. If you're looking for this range it's the top of White Hart, the north end. Right here we go. Now that should be pretty central. Now uh, I've only just started using it so I'm not expecting everything to be 100% accurate while I'm learning to use it. Saying that 35 meters is pretty comfortable iron sighted. Um, we've hit the bullseye of the target more or less and the first couple of goes so 35 meters no problem next one 45 to 50 meters should be a little harder but I don't think it'd be overly tasking and the thing is if we can hit that iron sighted then you know with a pistol scope you should hit that no problem as long as you don't rush your shot let's get the range finder just check this I know it's about 45 50 meters I want to try 50 meters because like I say 45 so we'll step back five meters 
get a 50 and then try a look hopefully Ron don't blow it so 50 meters targeted here it goes come on Ron don't let the viewers down might have <laughs> pulled that a little bit but we'll see in a minute but it wasn't too hard I don't think we'll soon see <laughs> how I hit how I did but imagine we a scope on quite easy um, what are you going to be using this gun for well Ron's opinion is well, that's pretty good decent would be a kill shot not ideal not 100 percent ideal so why would Ron buy this pistol one of the main reasons is and you always want a reason when buying a new item for this game what is its use does it benefit you and one of my main uses why I like the pistol is it's a muzzle loader I enjoy using them and two which is the main reason <laughs> of buying it is on pick a bean bay for example if I take a 300 and I want to say like the Weatherby it means I have to swap my bow over if I need to use the bow if I have the pistol and say a 300 it means my second slot I can put the bow in so I ain't got to swap and I'm still covered for all the animals I need to be but I can shoot in science with my bow so for that very reason it's a great item to buy also, like I said, the muzzle loaders are fun to use. So we've come to pick a bean bait, try it out on some of the permitted species it's allowed for. Um, I'm going to go for some Bantang, water buffalo if we see them, and see how much knockdown power it's got. It's all well and being hitting accurate targets if the animals don't go down. So you got to come out, test it, and here is going to be Ron's first animal. We've got a Banteng calling. Hopefully we don't spook it, and we can get it in the sort of ranges we've just been trying out. The thing is, with any new weapon or item, there's how it's supposed to work, and there's how it actually works. Now, And that's what we're going to try now. Muscle loaders are normally quite reliable, as long as you hit the target accurately. But the thing is, this is a pistol, you don't know what's been changed compared to a normal muzzle loader. Um, so does it lack uh, distance shooting? Does the power certainly uh, decrease over range, which I think it will be, with it being a pistol? We'll soon find out. Now here we go. First animal. I don't know if we're that. I think we've hit it decent enough. It's running. It's run off and it's dropped down. So it run what 50 meters from hitting it. So I'm assuming we've hit probably a lung, which isn't too bad on a big animal and it's a pistol. So where did Ron hit it? Let's have a look. Lung heart shot, which is decent. Happy with that. What's that in the background? That's a female. But at least we know the gun is pretty decent at the kind of ranges um, we were talking about. I think it was just over 50 meters. We'll have a look in a minute. Here is the Banteng in the bushes. What's he gonna score? I do like uh, the uh, look, so brutish. A bit like the water buffalo, so angry. Yeah, we killed it pretty easily, 62 meters. 122 score so quite happy with that Ron's first kill with the new pistol take a nice trophy shot great pose there then we'll try and find a nice water buffalo see how they go with it I think like I say if we can drop the uh, Bante which is quite a big animal quite easy like that at sort of 50 60 meters then I don't think we'll have a problem with water buffalo either if you can knock down bison water buffalo or bantings then you shouldn't have no issues uh, with any other animals really so I'm tracking a, a nice water buffalo he's right in front of me here he goes and I'm hoping that's down but I can't see yet <laughs> that's one of the things about muzzle loaders sometimes it's a longest shot 
Yeah, I bet it. I bet it. You have to wait five or six seconds. We've got thunder. We've got lightning, and we've got a nice water buffalo. Look at those horns. Let's see what he scores. One eight four. So that's been me, Ron McTube. We've been testing out the brand new 50 cal muzzle loader pistol. It's definitely worth a buy. It's very useful. It has a purpose. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels. Keep a look out for content from me regular for the Hunter and Call of the Wild. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Bye bye.